All right, Motor City Sports Talk, we're in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. One time for the one time we grind it. Make sure that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And Kerryon Johnson is 100% healthy, ready to rock and roll this season, man. So that's great news. And uh, we, we shall see how uh, Daryl Bevel uses him in his offense, man. So, um, you know, at some point last year, he said he could have came back. Obviously, he wouldn't have been at 100% strength. If he's just not getting to 100% strength right now. So, you know, that's the thing about it. And his durability is going to be key. And they brought a running back in to take a load off, off of him and, and C.J. Anderson. But, um, you know, everybody look at his body frame. You know, he's long, linky, but he tough. He can get those tough yards in between the tackles. He can get it on the outside of tackles, however you want it. And Anderson should do nothing but uh, compliment him. Um, that's it. It shouldn't be that carry on and, and Anderson compliment each other. And uh, carry on got to get the, the, the grunt of the touches, man. You know, you know, theoretic shouldn't be touching the ball out the backfield neither. You know what I'm saying? Carry on should get the majority of the, of the passing plays, the majority of the running plays. And, and Johnson should be there to spit. I mean, uh, Anderson should be there to spell him. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to be critical this year to see if he holds up with his durability. And Auburn, he held up pretty good. You know what I'm saying? He had he was getting like 30 touches a game at Auburn. So, you know, in NFL was a freak accident this year. He uh, lap this past season, he didn't get a lot of touches. You know, but towards the end, about the Miami game, uh, he started getting a lot of touches and started to see the difference uh, in caliber running back from him, Theo, Laguerre Blunt, and you know Zach Zinner. I feel like Zach Zinner was the second best running back on the team last year, bar none. And I feel that he the third best back behind Anderson. You know what I'm saying? But this is a critical year for uh for Kirion. He got Daryl Bevel, you know what I'm saying? And running backs get injured. They take the most the most blows, but you gotta have good dur durability to be at that position. You see Ty Gurley, excuse me, he had a few injuries in college, knee injuries in college, NFL, now he got arthritis in, in his knee, but he's still, you know, I think he still will be all right. But with Kirion, you know, it's a critical year for him. Um they need to feed feed the beast in him. And uh, let him rock and roll, man. Don't worry about the injuries. They come and they go. Um, you know, I think he should get at least 80% of the touches. I say 70%. The other 30 should be chopped up between Zenner uh, and Theoretic and Tyler Johnson if he make the team. And I think Tyler Johnson will make the team. I think Theoretic is going to end up getting cut. And I believe that Theoretic has no purpose on this team because Kirion catch the ball at the backfield. Zach Zenner a better runner than him. Anderson a better runner than him. So, Tyler Johnson... He brings the speed and power that Theo Riddick fails to, to bring. But for Kirion, it's important that they get him involved in the passing game, in the, uh, the running game, you know, the pass blocking game. It's, in, it's imperative that they split him out in the slot. They should use him like the St. Louis Rams would use Marshall Falk, you know, or, you know, how the Steelers use uh, Le'Veon Bill. That's kind of his comparison when he came out last year. I thought he reminded me of maybe a, a poor man's Le'Veon Bill. You know what I'm saying? You know, he reminds me of that type of guy. He don't have the girth that Le'Veon got, but he got that type of style, that gliding, you know, slide between the uh, office alignment type of style. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad that he's 100% healthy. I'm glad that he going to ball so hard this year, man. I know he is, man. He's going to be in ball so hard. University with T-Sizzle <laughs> to real Suggs, man. But it's, it's, it's a big year for him, you know what I'm saying? Either they feel like they got their franchise running back or they still looking if his durability ain't on, key, on, on point. And we'd have been through that before with Kevin Jones. You know, we thought we had his, our running back. He loved the contact. He loved to ran over Ray Lewis on the goal, goal line. Instead of avoid contact and evade the defenders, he wanted to run through him. He didn't last long. Javon Best was too light in the ass. He didn't last long. Amir Abdullah, he was too light in the ass. He didn't last long. So, you know, Joy Bell, the durability, Reggie Bush, he was a little bit older. So we still been looking, you know, ever since James Stewart and, and, and multiple running backs. We've been looking for that guy, hopefully carry on that guy that can carry the load for the Lions, man. But if he not, then next year we got to keep looking. And remember, they they wanted Rashad Penny and tried to trade back up in the first round to get Rashad Penny. And he ain't doing shit in Seattle, and they know how to run that rock. So we'll see what he do this year. But we uh, end Darius guys with the Redskins. But Motor City Sports Talk, make sure you that subscribe button, bell icon button. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video request. Appreciate the love and support for the channel. Best way you can donate, share the video. Share, share, share. One time for the one time we gone.